I find myself once again falling down a small little ice ramp only to hit the earth at a very pitiful distance away. Ooh, 34 bucks. However, this time I'm smarter than I was. For instance, I know this is here now. <laughs> Oh, and also I have enough for this Omega catalog. So for 10,000 now, I can get whatever this is. But unfortunately, I must start the same way. Well, not the same exactly. I have a brick now. Now, I do believe after I belly flop into the snow once more, I have enough money to buy the Plank Mark II. And I can buy this one air balloon, which I don't think this is actually going to do anything for me, but hey, a minor distance still works in the end. Go! Yeah, see, now I can see the snowman. I'll go ahead and increase my ramp length to two, as well as buy some sand. Oh, and I suppose I should get rid of the brick and actually <laughs> put the kite on. The brick doesn't do anything for me. It just slows me down. At least with the kite, I'm able to glide closer to the snowman, which then means I can just upgrade to the glider all that much faster. Also, give me the propulsor. I don't want the balloon. The balloon sucks. Oh, are you telling me this because I can destroy him now? Game, it's almost like you know my true intention. True intention being murder. Nope, not strong enough. That's fine. When I buy iron pellets, I now should have enough oomph behind me that I can fly all the way up and crash through them with ease. Perfect. I'm once again a cold-blooded killer who earned 260 bucks. My bad, 360, which means I can increase ramp height once again. I have a lot on my plate here. I'm not just trying to break every objective. There's also like nine secret achievements I have to do. And killing the snowman just so happens to be part of one. I pretty much just full boost directly into him because I can't go very far on just these upgrades alone. So by doing this, I get myself 500 bucks and I can upgrade my ramp length now all the way to halfway. The length means I'm just gonna be able to get that much more speed off takeoff, which means I go that much higher and I can fly that much further, just like this. Cause now I can see the snow pile and upgrade my rocket with the money I just got. The better the rocket boost, the more efficient it is. Oh, and it looks like I'm going quite fast towards the earth. Maybe let's pull up slightly. I'm gonna be able to break the snow pile before I even realize it. My God, how much money did I just get from that run? 430 bucks. Oh wait, 587 bucks, which means I can buy more fuel. And I'd like to get the good old sled, but no, I just have to be broke. More fuel means I can boost higher, which means actually this time I can probably run through the snow pile. Maybe I'll get, nope, I was able to touch it. Does that count? Whatever, give me the good old sled. Now I'm just that much faster. If I get the resistance right and then just use my boost, to right about here, I think now I should be able to make it and not break it. <laughs> what do I have to do, game? I have to, do I have to become cast iron, huh? Do, you, do I need to save money? All right, well, if that's what I have to do, that's what I have to do. No complaints here. <laughs> Wait, I should kill this snowman. What am I doing? There we go. Not gonna lie, that made me feel a little better. Oh, wait, what? what? I just kind of casually tapped that, huh? I was going so slow. Whatever. I mean, it works for me. Thanks, game. 1300 bucks. Screw saving money. Let's spend some. And the hang glider. Perfect. <laughs> Wasn't I originally going to buy the cast iron? I just bought two different things <laughs> and forgot all about that. Break the snowman, get all the way back up into the air, and then I can slowly go down until I break the snow pile. And then I rise back up. I don't think I'm going to be able to make it all the way to the mountain, or I am, but I'm not going to be able to break it, which means I just need to upgrade, well, me. And I guess I'll do my ramp height. Now that I'm Osmium, things should break a lot easier without me actually losing speed going through them like this. So there's a decent chance I'll actually be able to break through this little mountain up here, provided I have enough speed to crash and I was so close. Man, what more do I need? I'm taking a new approach. I went up super high into the air and then I've just been abusing speed. Oh, that's the earth. I messed up. I messed up pretty bad. I don't think I'm actually going to be able to see the mountain on this run. However, I did get an achievement. Thanks, game. Looking at these metals here, it looks like if I fly the wrong way for 250 feet, I'll get one. And there's a ton more challenges down here too. I think I'll be able to fly the wrong way. Hang on, just do this and then go like this. Huh, I did. I guess there must be nothing back here. Ooh, a new... I got like four achievements for doing this. $400 for going the wrong way, but then 1100 for all my achievements. But it looks like if I go 15,000 feet in the wrong direction, something cool happens. So maybe I'll just keep that in mind. For now, bobsled, which is the fastest I can get until I have $10,000 for this super slide. Yeah, yeah, break through the snow pile, back up into the air, and now I coast downward. 
For some reason, it was much easier to go a thousand feet backwards than it actually is a thousand feet in the right direction. Cause I don't know how the game works. What? How did I break? I was going so slow. How did I break? Nothing makes sense. Nothing makes sense to me anymore. However, saving up for more fuel, that, that still makes sense to me. Thanks to my extra fuel upgrades, I should be able to legitimately break the mountain. I don't know how I broke it last time nope. going two miles. I like it. Why did, why did it not break? What's the difference between me going that fast and going two miles an hour? I'm done trying to understand this game. I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna launch until things work. Breakthrough, thank you, perfect. Oh, I can finally break through things normally now. Oh, and look, it's the ocean. Isn't there another achievement for like diving into the ocean too? Mm, plop. I guess that wasn't deep enough. <laughs> $3,300. Finally, I can buy my next glider. Well, I'm finally able to see the iceberg. Not make it there, but at least see it. And it looks like I earned about $3,600 per run, which just means I can buy my first Omega upgrade. Okay. Oh yeah, that looks menacing. <laughs> oh, that just gave me like so much speed off that alone. I bet if I can buy this Omega Super Slide, with the Omega glider, I'll, I'll be able to go into like glide speed. I don't know. All right, excuse me, mountaintop. I have an iceberg to go see behind you. I think I should be able to break through. No, I was flying that time. What do you mean? Maybe I just need to upgrade my booster, you know, to the Omega one. How fast is this going to be able to? Wow, that looks fast. Okay, uh, pardon me, rocket. It's so efficient. I just, I'm gonna... It's so good. The Omega items are so insanely broken. It's a shame I'm not going to be able to go to the iceberg quite yet, but still. 8,100 off one, 9,600 off one run. Looks like I can max out ramp height. There was also a thing for getting really high up in the air. So now with my booster, I think I'll probably be able to do it. 400, yeah, altitude five. Now what happens if I just go straight down? There's the speed, I'm going cr Whoa, hold on, what? I just cracked the world! Oh my gosh! How much money do I get for just, you know, destroying the planet? 1500 off altitude? Oh, that's it? I really thought I would've got more money for that. <laughs> now, all right, time to get as far as I can without breaking anything. What's going on here? Huh? What just happened? Did I just get more fuel? Oh my gosh, I did! In that case, go all the way up and then let's go down as fast as possible. And I only got to 100 feet my fuel still going oh okay okay well i mean that's yeah that's fair enough i thought i'd be able to go much much deeper but now i have maxed out ramp length now i'll start as high as possible and i'll start as fast as possible which just so happens to be insanely fast for me we're now officially at the point where i'm made out of dark matter too <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's gonna be able to stand in my way anymore. It's all just gonna die. If something really cool happened whenever I completed this achievement, I'm assuming something cool happens at 15,000 feet as well. But to do that, I'm probably gonna need the Omega Glider. <laughs> That's all Omega items and everything maxed. Now I just have to fly 15,000 feet in the wrong direction. It shouldn't be that hard, right? I'm gonna end up like a thousand feet short. That's fine, in the bonus shop I can give myself more fuel, which should mean I'm able to make it all the way back there now. All right, just past 5,000 feet and I still have a third of my fuel left as well. I think a resistance of three and then every once in a while using my boost might be the best option for me. Oh, but I'm not 100% certain. Let's just get a lot of height back real quick with what boost I have left and then set the resistance to minus 17 so that way I get a bunch of speed and then whenever it gets to be about 100, go to minus six. Come on, just a little more. I only need to go like 500 more feet. Come on, let this be it. Let the, no, I hit the ground. I wasn't looking. Wait, I did it. I went minus 15,000. Why did I not get the medal for it, game? What's going on here? Is this a scam? I've been scammed. Okay. Oh, so nothing cool happens, man. You know, after trying to fly backwards so much, I realized something. I'm not really a big fan of breaking all the structures. So much so that I got an achievement. <laughs> <laughs> and because of this, I think there's only one natural option left for me. Flying over every obstacle that I know and making peace with the wall. By making peace with it, I mean, I'll just fly right over it. No need for me to break it when I can just keep on soaring, baby. Look at me go. <laughs> Am I going to someone's house who's writing hate mail? I guess I'm just... Oh, I was on a mission to beat up the dude who badmouthed me. 
Well, that's unfortunate for all of these obstacles. Because it reminds me how much I like to break things. Yeah, that was a good relief. 